it is time to start Mass Effect Trace or three or three. Go ahead and hit new game. Import Mass Effect 2 character. Uh, that is wow. So we started it on the 19th. Select career. Uh, so we have wow. It gives us our whole roundup of everything. And here's our last save. Um, did not re romance anyone before Mass Effect 2. Did not romance anyone in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Survive the suicide uh, mission with 12 squad mates. Destroy the collectors. Tends to rewrite them. Kept Rex alive. Saved Malin's data. Chose to save the cancel council. Rescued Caden. And save the Arachni Queen. Import. Except, except imported face. I think we will stick with that. It's this shepherd we've been running with the entire time. I feel like it would be a little weird changing it up now. So, here's all of our new powers if we go engineer again. Adept would be so cool. Sentinel would also be really cool. Throw, warp, lift grenade, tech armor, overload, and cryoblast. I really like that change. The most effective class at disabling the defenses of the toughest enemies or incapacitating them to render them harmless. Harmless. In combination with their weapon training, engineers have a unique ability to spawn combat drones that can harass enemies or force them out of entrenched covers covered positions. Incinerate, Overload, Cryoblast, Combat Drone, Sabotage, and Sentry Turret. Sentinels are unique, bring both tech and biotic abilities to the battlefield. Sentinels are equipped with an advanced shield that makes taking cover much less necessary and rushing their enemies to do more product more much more productive. This armor can be uh be detonated to blast nearby enemies. Row warp lift grenade tech armor i don't know dude which one do i go i've been going engineer this whole time though but a warp ability having a warp ability would be really neat too even this would be vanguards uh high reward high risk high reward closing target I'll fit it with implants. Incendiary ammo, cryo ammo, biotic charge, nova, shockwave, pull, infiltrator, disruptive ammo, cloak. The classes in Mass Effect 3 seem so much cooler. Sentinel or engineer? I really don't know. I feel like we should go engineer because that's what we've been doing this whole time but i wouldn't mind having throw warp or lift grenade or tech armor or overload but then doing the incinerate maybe these are better this time let's go engineer let's just stick with it they have different it does change it up a little bit so we'll see well how you can make his eyes go crazy Nice. All right, I think that's enough. Except you cannot make any changes to your character after this point, enter. Mass Effect 3 begins now.
How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Twenty-one fifty-seven. Humanity discovered that it was not alone. Thirty years later, they found a peaceful planet on a decision in life. Unable to accept the legend of reapers, but one soldier had seen the legend come to life. Now they. The fate of the galaxy depends on him. Basically, nobody believed Reapers exist until us. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Oh no, Sounds there's support. no subtitles. If I hit escape, will that? What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. I can't imagine we'll playing an entire game What's without subtitles. Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. We should prepare more. You know we're not ready if it is then. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. Ooh, that's a I reference that to the last mission we just and did. So does the committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Hey. Hey, Dad. Shepard. Kate? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No, I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I suppose I did. So it's... It's good to see you. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Hopefully we get a pause moment soon so I can turn on subtitles. Admiral Anderson, Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. 
You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? They couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Oh my god, this looks so different. <laughs> okay, let's change up some of the settings here. That all looks good. Gameplay. Narrative, casual, normal, hardcore, insanity. What's casual? This is a non representative Mass Effect 3 combat experience. Interesting. God made power usage on, auto save on, 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 on. Conversation mode, uh. Their choices are made for you. Whoa, you can have decisions? No decisions? Automatic, con all conversations play automatically. Responses are chosen for you. That's, whoa, interesting. Default, often conversations. In most conversations, yeah. Squad mate, helmets. Actually, no, let's just like, do default. Equipped in most surface, uh, default on, back, down. Do 70. And let's.
let's do 40. 90, 70, 40. Okay. Squad, do we have points? Whoa. Whoa, we automatically start at level 30? Sick. Wait, hold up. Uh, Mass Effect 3. Max level. 60. Reach 20 in multiplayer or 60 in single player. That's sick. We automatically have so many points. That's really neat. I like how they do that. Um, is there one that gives us more, ah, more charisma right here? Squad mate powers increase the damage bonus. Um, Increased reputation bonus by... Wow, dude, I don't remember this at all. Holy crap. <laughs> that's crazy. Reputation. I think that's the only one that increases reputation. Wow. Force and da Increase the force and damage of squad mate powers by 30%. Power damage bonus by 10%, increased weight capacity by 20. It's either squad or... Or this. I mean, that's a pretty good bonus right there too, though. But I think if we wanted to, we could always put, what, into fitness? More health, more melee damage. Faster and stronger tech powers. I'll do this. Increase power damage bonus by 25. Increase power damage bonus duration by 25. Or increase combat drone and treat shirt shield by 100%. And their sentry by 50%. Let's do that. Ah, oh, they used a lot of points already. <laughs> Maxing that out. Expand. Dude, I do not remember this at all. It's crazy. Just like looking back at this. Let's get some sentry turret points. That costs two. And we have two left. Could put one into this. Expand. More health, more shields, more barriers. Here, let's put one into this. And then we have one left over. Wow. That's cool how you start at like level... um. 30. Display objectives. Follow Anderson to spaceport. Let's move. Look out. Uh, I need to rearrange my abilities. So, overload combat drone. There. Barely use this, so let's throw it there. This cryoblast. For overload here. Sabotage can swap for that, swap for those. I do kind of remember this jump. though. It's farther than it looks. Come on, let's go. Come on, we'll have to go this way. Whoa, that base is strong. Looks clear, let's go. Major, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. So many unlocks going off right now. We're about five minutes out. Husks, take them out. Shoot them. I'm out of ammo. Feel like it's kind of quiet now. Come 
on, we gotta move. Take these things out the old fashioned way. Using some melee. <laughs> Don't let them grab you. Nice. <laughs> Gotta find a way out of here. Watch it! Oh, heavy melee. Nice. Through this way. It's a kid. It's the, hey. it's the kid that was playing with the uh, spaceship. It's okay. Everyone's dying. So quiet. <laughs> Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! Get here. What if the kid was never actually there? Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. They get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <clears throat> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. You sure about that? No, but you're a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. <laughs> True. Reload, nice. let's keep... One sec. Let me... Pull this back up. Pull that back up. Wait. Oh. oh, Major Alenko, we're in God. the middle of the baseball. ETA, three minutes. Made it to the Normandy. We're taking heavy fire. Oh, God. Wow. It's like watching a uh, Transformers Major. movie. Damn it, they're in trouble. Wow. Come in, friendlies. <laughs> you two get down, they'll see you. <laughs> Keep your head down. Nice shot. Finish them all. Shepard, over here. Wait, how does that work? Can you only have one or the other? Oh no, you can have both.
What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on, let's get to that gunship. Find the radio. Ooh. It's candy. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major! Damn it! I lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. Hope they get there soon. You and me both. Content connection watch party. Yeah, what's going on, that mellow kid? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Swap weapons. Wow, that's interesting. How's the stream going? Pretty good, pretty good. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. They're just getting started. Hey. Thank you very much. Yo, Bullet Club Strang. Thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. Cavalry's here, gentlemen. Woo. Yo, that mellow kid. Thank you for the uh, 50 bits as well. Appreciate it. TC gang, let's go. Yo, what's going on, Rob Forte? Let's go. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you for guys for uh, stopping by. Hey. We're just getting started in Mass Welcome Effect 3 here. Thanks. So it's going to be a wild ride. I just finished Mass Shepherd. Effect 2. Come on. Uh-oh. I'm not going. Oh no. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. You stay, I'm staying. It's a fight we can't win. Not Gotta without show help. love to the community. Thank we you. We need thank every you. species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating. <laughs> as leaders. long as you hear the music come in, you know Talk it's to the real. Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? This epic them listen. song about to play. Now go. That's an order. It's coming. I don't take orders from you anymore. Remember? Consider yourself reinstated. Come on. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. You too. Mass Effect Trilogy is one of my absolute favorites. Same here, same here. Anderson, no! There's that kid.
favorite romance in all games. You know what's actually kind of funny? I didn't do any in this game yet. This entire playthrough, I did not. Oh no. beginning of yet another chapter Woo! <laughs> honestly playing these games back to back has been so good so far the amount of changes what the hell's going on where's anderson where are we going and impact the story has had so hey, good we're leaving i feel like i'm playing it again leaving? for the first time it's been so long what's going on Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. We don't have a choice. Without help, this war's already over. Forget it. Drop me off someplace. Enough. Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? I almost missed that. <laughs> my hand We're wasn't on my uh, mouse. You want out? You can catch a ride back from there. Commander! I know. So Joker, many people play through you? these games oh, over. And over, but I've really only played it like once, Pass it through. maybe twice. Heavy and it's been so long. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find the outpost on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. Dr. Tassoni. Only way to stop them. There's only one. Okay. Set a course for the Mars archives. Mars. Mars. Roger that. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war. The Martians. Grab your gear. Yeah, playing each one back to back and seeing the difference in their improvements and like all that has been amazing. I feel like we're almost at the end, but honestly, we're just getting started for another one. <laughs> another like 20, 25 hours or so probably left to go.
Still no contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. A guy's armor is sick, James. What? Okay. It's, <laughs> he looks like a Gears of War character in this game because he's so bulky. Press escape to level up the squad. Yeah, you do know it's really cool. We started, since I imported my character, we automatically started at level uh, 30, 30 for this one and had half of these abilities were already done. The only thing that I did was these last two um, for tech mastery and I put one into fitness and two into sentry turret. Um, I thought that was really cool and like neat that that's actually how it started. And I, of course, I had to bump up my tech mastery because I need that more charisma. Um, but I'm trying to think, so what should we go now? Maybe combat drone? Uh, upgrade the drone short range attack to deal 210 points of damage across 250, 2.5 uh, meter radius. Drone stuns enemies for a short duration or increase the drone's damage by 50% and increase the shield by 50%. Uh, shock, short range shock or increased damage. I think I might do increased damage. So that's pretty cool. Did you run it in all games? Yes. And starting out, I will say starting out in one as an engineer was neat at first. Then the combat drone is what really drew me in for number two. But then halfway through the game, I felt like I was barely doing any damage other than for the most part, good at taking down shields and distractions. I was reading about changing to Sentinel, um, but then I was reading a lot about also that engineer in three plays a lot better and potentially is one of the better classes for three. So that's where I finally said, all right, I'm going to do three as an engineer, because why not? I've gone this the whole time as an engineer for one and two. Might as well finish it out as an engineer in three. Um, plus, they, I liked how they expanded these abilities, and now you have these trees too, which is really neat. In all my playthroughs, I stopped playing one and just reused two of my old save files. The original didn't age well. Still need to start my run. All right, Clay, we're, uh, we're going to finish off our watch party with one more streamer. Take care and have a great, great stream. The yeah, Bullet Club, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, thank you guys for stopping by and following as well. Um, I really do appreciate it. So I hope you guys have a, uh, a good night and I'll try to ride it in on the, uh, the next one. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> thank you rob hey thank you very much for that follow there i appreciate it i will be streaming all day saturday and monday because i have off um i have a haircut on saturday around nine so i'll be playing this pretty much all day and then also on monday memorial day i will be streaming as well so if you guys want to stop by feel free other than that have a good night and thank you for for chilling with me but uh yeah let's uh let's upgrade these guys here so we've got barrier overload and alliance officer uh what is james's abilities carnage cool um let's bump up this because this seems like a really neat ability impact radius 50 percent or we could just do damage i mean it only goes up by up to three meters technically um let's do that and then incendiary ammo i forgot about this one yeah last time i barely got to do any bonus squad bonus stuff so this time around i'm gonna try to let's give them frag grenades at least impact radius or damage let's do impact radius with four points cool and uh, now we're looking at, we only have one point left. I quit all though. Oh, really? Wait, what happens if I do auto? 
Wow, it removes everything? Does that mean you can respec at like any time in this game? If so, that's pretty neat. Increase health and damage and uh, ignite enemies with an intermittent explosion that covers that for damage. Go back to carnage. One, two, three. Increase damage. Uh, frag grenade. Gotta go to the doctor uh, to respec. Okay. Huh. This one will do impact radius. And we got one point left. So I'll put that into this. Now back to Caden. Uh, we have barrier. Reinforce armor with this biotic field. Detonate the field to lift and dangle nearby enemies. Let's take all three of those. Might be two, but I think it was in in three. I know in two you had to go to the um, the research terminal and you could respect them. But it sucked because I got their loyalty and I didn't realize that you maxed out at 30 so and i didn't realize until like the last hour of the game that you could go to the retrain powers and select a character not just shepherd so the entire game i went through without really any like squad abilities which is kind of a bummer but that's all right it is what it is um it was just kind of like oh this was there the whole time did not know that. Let's do that. Cryoblast. I'll give him these three. Boom. Confirm. Oh, you have to hit confirm. After you do all the upgrades. Huh. Let's hit save. Create a new save. And we're starting to unlock a bunch of weapons, Man, too. that's a huge storm. Looks a lot bigger Whoa. in person. Pretty what? average for Mars, actually. I'm glad you're so optimistic. Yeah, we've got Reapers in base. The station here is offline. A little dust storm seems like the least of our worries. <laughs> Pressing Fair M enough. in this game uh, points you to your objectives. So I guess there's no mini-map now. At What's least that? not right now, at least. Uh, there isn't. Change the loadout. Oh, you can change the loadout on the fly. That's sick. That's really, that's really cool, actually. So we have a heavy pistol and a submachine gun. Okay, so that's a submachine gun, sniper rifle. Okay, okay. All right, I forgot. So this is where our, our weight comes in. Our charge speed is 100%, or you can put on a weapon and it decreases it, but you gain an additional weapon to use. Damage. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, what about these guys? Uh, is that loadout? Journal? Squad? Wait. Squad? Uh, what do I get back? L? K J I W S not W A S D E bindings. How do we get to loot out? Uh, navigation assistance, HUD, order squad, exit. Whoa. I don't know what just happened there. I guess you can't, maybe we just got lucky because we picked it up. I can't reopen my Lizzo, loadout. Lance, Sergeant Reeves. Didn't put up a fight before he died. Something's not right here. Keep a low profile till we know what's going on. Roger that. It's so hard to tell the difference between the pistol and the... <laughs> which one's which? I really don't know. If we go to squad, no, it's not here. How did I get to that? Honestly, though. Options. E bindings. I'm going to check one more time. 
Storm, cover, a return, quick load. Order rally, order attack, quick slot. Okay, well, I guess we can't. I guess you have to go to the loadout, which I mean makes sense. I was just like, whoa, you can change it right now, like without doing anything. I was just in cover there. I know we're here now. Nice. Damn. Those guys were Cerberus, weren't they? Sure looked like it. Cerberus, what are they doing here on Mars? Good question. You don't know. So I'm we not got them anymore, Look out! Completely separated. The sentry right. turret stays out no for like a minute and then goes away. Uh, oh, here we go. Shepard, I need a straight answer. About what? Do you know anything about why Cerberus is here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You work for them, for God's sakes. How am I not supposed to think that? We joined forces to take down the Collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground up. They give you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. It's just a... I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Caden. Not wrong. We've literally been through the games together, bro. And he's still questioning. Please, trust me. I do, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... <laughs> That is why I love that ability. Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. Liara. Shadow broker. I was worried when the reports came in. <laughs> they hit Earth hard? Yeah. It was hard to leave like that. Caden, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here on Mars? In the Prothean Archives, yes. We've known about the Archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me. Asking if I would use my resources as a shadow broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. 
I meant to come see you, but... I was under house arrest. There wasn't much I could do to help you anyway. I suppose you're right. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But what? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers? Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. <laughs> My alarm is going off. We've got company. Bring it on. Bring Not it this on. time, James. What? Get back to the shuttle. If Cerberus beats us to the Archives, I need you covering the exits. I really need to make it but to ring here. Soon. Now, Lieutenant. Getting thirsty. I want to make some green tea. I hear them. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. Green tea, good for the voice. <laughs> True. You can't hide forever. Get out of there. Nice. That's all of him. Good. Let's find a way up. Here's one right here. They've Wait. sabotaged the elevator. Oh, I was about to say what happened. I thought I pressed a button. It's kind of hard to see the, um... How'd Cerberus get into the facility? Not sure. Hmm. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus It's kind of hard to see the, uh, Could they be with the Reapers? objects that you Doubtful. can but I suppose anything's interact possible. with in this game. Also, I, I really wish they gave us a, a field of view option. Because it, it just even a little bit would make a difference. I forgot about that. Nice. We'll need access to the pedway. Controls should be nearby. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Did you see that? Who's that woman in the Who vent? That's Dr. Eva Corey. Yes. She got here about a week Infiltrator. ago. Infiltrator. I've actually never played them. Any I see luck? them as like the sniper class. Headway's been locked out. Which I know in the previous ones, that's right. kind of what Looks they were. Like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. Snipers, so <laughs> yep, that's what they did. <laughs> Great. Let's Snipers move. Snipers, so powerful. They are pretty sick. Even when like I did use them, I don't think I used them at all in two, but I had them equipped at one point in one. Um, and it was always cool swapping to that every once in a while and just like. Aiming down sight, like actually down sight, and taking a shot. So I, I can imagine that being close. pretty cool in this one, too. What the hell? Looks like the Alliance is still putting up a fight. That tram heads to the archives. Once Cerberus is across, they're at the final security checkpoint. Barely. Screamed mail slot every time I got one of those shield bots. <laughs> I didn't read that. James, repeat. This airlock shouldn't be open. Doesn't look like it was forced open. No, you have to override security protocols. 
Someone vented the air from this room while they were still here. It's dead space. Looks like I died trying to claw their way out. This is brutal, even by Cerberus standards. I need to watch a video that explains all the, or not explains, but shows all of the Flash Easter eggs Flash. in like one and two. What's our order? There's an alliance force in here somewhere. We need to keep them away from the core. Check the next room. It's dark in there. Want me to show you? The whole objective acquired. Nice. I love how this guy fell fell forward like that. <laughs> Just resting. <laughs> it's good. We need to pressurize the room first. Dude, I can't wait to see the the armor that we have and other weapons that we unlock. There we go. From playing the other two the games too. Take us right to the tram station. Uh, hey, there's a recording of what happened here. Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as. <gasps> I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying After around? After this conversation, I think I'm gonna grab fix. a drink real quick. Come on, Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. When there's so much at stake, I just think about what I'd lose if I fail. That's a terrible burden. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. Thanks, I want to believe you. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. Alright, one second, chat. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me hit save. We always do three. Nice, Paragon level up too. Uh, I'm gonna grab a drink real quick and then we will continue here uh, for a little bit longer. And I will. Mass Effect 3. Oh, yeah, we leveled up too. Leveling up pretty fast. Um, from 130, <laughs> uh, from 30 to the next one. Uh, let's put it in Sentry Turret. Increase that. So recharge speed, hurt shields. I, I just don't like that they don't like move around a lot. They kind of just sit there. One point. Wow. We didn't even put any of her. Any for. Let's do warp ammo. Then warp. Increase damage, stasis. Uh, majority en uh, enemies eventually break out of stasis after taking major damage. Or singularity, oh, dude, I love singularity. Impact radius, 25%. This one's always so good. And let's boost biotic abilities. And finally, we'll put one into stasis. Cool. Aiden, you have one point. I don't think you can even use that. Save. And let's keep moving forward. Ooh. Aha, so here's where you can change out your stuff. Do you only have one for each, one each person? Okay, now you get multiple. Wait, 
Wait. Hey, stupid head. Nice, you actually get XP for, uh, for groups. Combat Juran moves around so much more this time than it did before. God, what's that stench? They just it seems a lot more protocols. effective. This is what how I want. I wish it it interacted as um, in the the last game. This is where they studied the various relics on Earth here. What did they find? More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data droves that have never been studied. Like a little puzzle. Extend the barrel. Forgot that there's weapon mods in this one. That's, That's the funny. They they completely right removed the way the weapon mods no for has it two. Hopefully we can override that this <laughs> and they had station. it in one, it's but now they here. brought it back for three. Huh. Also, I. <laughs> I keep rolling by accident. Change loadout. That's a shotgun. I think somebody else can equip one, right? Shotgun. I think they can only have two weapons, though. So if I take that off. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you need to unlock the shotgun slot. That's an understatement. I take it that's the only way in. It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around it. Stay out of its sight. <clears throat> I'll move up first. Don't let it target you. One second, chat. Damn it. I'm scratching an itch. No one 
else comes across. We still have teams on the other side. No one. And shut down those cameras. Fire Bailey. Looks like they've made it to the archives. And I doubt they'll just send us a tram. Can you override? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not if we can find a short-range communicator, helmet to helmet. And? And we convince them that we're on their side. Tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Major has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... My god. It looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? How can you compare me to him? Shepard, I don't know what you are, or who. Not since Cerberus rebuilt you. For all I know, you could be their puppet, controlled by the elusive man himself. That's not fair, kid. Don't try to explain it. I don't think I'd understand anyway. I just want to know, is the person that I followed to hell and back still in there? Somewhere. I am they who didn't I change am. change me, Kate. But words won't convince you, will they? Probably not. I didn't think so. You were stubborn. <laughs> me? Come on, let's see what Cerberus is up to. Maybe we'll both get some answers. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo Team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Flank them when they get off the tram. Yeah, same, thinking, Rob. <laughs> Dude, after... I, so... It's been so long since I played this, like I said. So it has been feeling... Like, pretty fresh in my opinion um just for just for playing this it almost feels like the first time but i think originally i can't remember if i did or didn't but i think originally i played with ashley and i never realized how much she hates aliens which and was like oh we're the superior race and everything and i was like i don't know if i want you on my team here she did not want to work with any aliens, no matter what. And, uh, yeah, she was also very much a complainer and like, oh, we need to stick by the rules. So I was like, yeah, no thanks. If I ever do a renegade playthrough, though, I would choose her in that playthrough. But besides that, I don't need it. <laughs> Ash, if, uh, if you hate aliens so much, why don't you just, why didn't you just join Cerberus Forehead? True. Not wrong. Not wrong. Storm's getting bad. We better wrap this up quickly. The archives are right in the other side. That and a squad of angry Cerberus troops. Oh man. For a second, I thought we were moving towards that, which is funny. Funny. <laughs> Nice. They really didn't want us getting in here. 
Yes, it confirms my assertions about the value of the data stored here. Yeah, it looks nice though. But it's just like crazy. It's cool how the combat shield or the combat drone now has a shield of its own. I gotta ask you, do you like, uh, so if you had to choose one, would you choose Mass Effect or Dragon Age? I'm just curious. Personally, if I had to choose one or the other, love Mass Effect, love both of them, but I loved Dragon Age too, from what I remember. And I'm more of like a technology, like, sci-fi type person over fantasy but i don't know dragon age always stuck with me a lot and i hope that they do an, um, a similar remake one day too because i would love to replay that game oh my god Jane. both are fantastic though absolutely love both of them and it's even hard for me to say preferring one or the, over the other. But if I had to choose, I think I would have to choose Dragon Age. Shepard. Shepard. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proved that. That base was an abomination. Hundreds of thousands of humans were murdered there. <laughs> Look at that face. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. Work with me. Give me control of your resources and I'll stop them. You'd do better than most. But the odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard, and I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. Who? Who's that? But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. 
I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. So how's he doing? Mm -hmm. It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey, step away from the console. Get back here, Dr. Eva. Get back here. Oh no. Oh no. There she is. Stay on her. She's getting away. Wow. Do not remember a chase scene in Mass Watch Effect. Out. <laughs> She's like glitching. <laughs> she, uh, that's funny. We're like catching up to her so fast. She's like glitching forward. She's getting away. Damn it, James, Normandy, anybody? I got this one. I was a little reckless. Dispose of him. No! Grab that thing. Bring it with us. Shepard, we got Reaper signatures in orbit. Caden. Where we go, the Reapers show up. Supplements, you say, Fossavat? <laughs> hmm. I haven't used that in forever. <laughs> I always forget about the bodybuilding.com thing. Caden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. 
I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward <laughs> into the call room. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable massive. levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Major Olenko was critically injured. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, They'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. I mean, we've been warning them for literally three games. They don't get the picture by now. Commander. And we're doomed regardless. Extra data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Major Olenko? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventionally. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Cinematics. Ah, oh, so beautiful. So good. We got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Need to change Shepard's outfit. That's what we need. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Ah, Bailey. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. 
So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. Hmm. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. Nice. Press V to show Udina's location on the map. Uh, points of interest. Diana Helmers. Two, three. Okay. So that's how you, Ah. Ah. Cool. That's neat. What's up? Uh, well, number two is right next to us, so. Ma'am, I can't say when we're deploying or where or why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it docked. Was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? He did. Oh, didn't we're about he? to get so many so rewards. Why would he be here? What's going on? Wait a minute. Commander, just who I was looking for. Wait. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help Wait. each other. Who is she? I suppose you wanted an interview. Even better. That? Naomi. I'm a military reporter What's with the show Naomi called Kyle? Battlespace. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? Hold on. Hold on. I'm just going to Google it. Jessica Choba, that's who Tell your is. producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. That's funny. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, I didn't see your thing in chat. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, why? What is she doing today? Like, she used to be everywhere back in the day. And now she thinks she hosts, like, not even. Does she still do? Uh, primary host. For Nerdist News. The council called the invaders Reapers, saying Kerrigan's used by disgraced commander. Used to be, be like the number one person everybody loved for like video game news back in the day. Yeah, I think now she does like regular stuff. Discovery. Vogue. She does do Discord. She still covers some game stuff. Or actually, yeah, it looks like a good amount. I don't know. Cool. Was she on D4? I think she was. Um, which they are bringing back G4. G4. And the other cool thing about that too is they're actually bringing in other people as well. Um, which I, th I think is pretty neat. They're bringing in like streamers too which is interesting Welcome, Commander I, got, I think i've seen a few Please people that are actually going home. to be uh like streamers that are actually going to be on g4 honestly i think it's a perfect time to bring it back if they um 
they do it right. All right, so Cadence in number three, and then number one has Dr. Chakwas, who is on the Normandy with us, and somebody Welcome else. Medigel, increased by one. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Or I'll pick up both of these. Shopping. There's Doctor. Doctor you're Michael. Shepherd now. Doctor Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batarian hegemony nice. is destroyed by an unknown force. Uh, there's also Dr. Michael, which is right here. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. Not Michelle. You've come a long way Not from that Michael. small clinic down in the wards. <laughs> because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling. Head trauma. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. <laughs> Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. The narrow splint's still the best course of action. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again, it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Come on, Caden. Fight. And that's an order. Nice. He's under attack, although the Asari colony is across the galaxy. Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. But when I ship out? How complete did you, uh, did you do the other games? Um, for the most part, I completed a lot of the um, the story. I did majority, pretty much all of the um, like main missions, some some side objectives, uh, but a good amount also. So I didn't. I don't think I 100%ed it, but I did do like all the loyalty missions into 
I did a lot of um, uh, all the DLC in both games. Um, trying to think what else. I did side missions. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Uh, yeah, that's really all I can. I'm sure there's tons out there <laughs> that I did do of other things. Wait, pressing V to open the map. Uh, three, two is where we need to go? Okay. I put about 26 hours into the last game in Mass Effect 2. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already. Yeah, in I think it was about like 16 in Mass Effect 1. We've got our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the Wait, attack. All right. By your reports. Counselor Dina is now the counselor because I guess we lost. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. The other guy. By the um, Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Reapers during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together, but it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. Not wrong. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I At this rate, offer of support. we should let I'll them be die. Up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. I warned them years ago. Second rate. And they believe How nothing. How could they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't tell you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, 
What does it matter? <laughs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Nice. Well, that went well. That helps, Ellie. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Thanks. The Council. You saved their lives. And for what? That's literally how I'm Apologies Antion. that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. I should go. I'll be here. Nice. Priority Palavan. Alright. Uh, one counselor or commander Bailey. It's in number one. Right here. Go chat with them. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. <laughs> Damn press. This is keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. It'll probably get worse before it gets better. Yeah, if it ever gets... Okay. Now we can chat with her too, which I might do. Uh, it's two, number one, number two. Is there any three specter office? Four is the embassy offices and five is the office suite. Let's go down here and just... So... Oh, oh whoops. Oh, is it underneath us? I think it is. Wait, how do you get here? Um. What? Wait, is there steps? An elevator? Oh. Vector Terminal. Wow. 
Whoa. The Rowers had to destroy all artificial satellites and observation equipment they currently have in orbit. They say the Reapers will see them as a free space faring civilization. Sick. Got a whole uh, Spectre weapon purchase thing. The shooting range. Who else is out here? Or James is here too. It's right here. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. <sighs> That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Ilium is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Power Sounds Earth, good. Let's uh chat with Commander Shepard. Commander the Kalish. Commander Shepard. Kalisa bent seen in Algelai. Kalisha? Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? Oof. I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'm glad you're on our side. According to the Council, or asset updated. Nice. All right, I think we can uh, go back to the ship now. Please select the One moment, please. One, two, two seconds of loading. Beautiful. Now arriving at docking bay D24. All right. Uh, we'll probably go to the next area, and if it doesn't take too long doing the mission, then probably do that and then call it. But we'll see. Turn to Normandy, yes. First time free room on the Normandy, I think. Is this that mission? I mean that um dream thing. Yes. I remember this.
Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. Mm. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. But wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, ...attractive your voice was. <laughs> anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Cool. It's a good, uh... Commander. Uh, takes us right to that. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch. I thought we were going to jump on the Asari ship and, and go, but apparently not. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, 
I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Nice. Intel armor mod kit. Okay, so this is the new area. This, wow. For terminal. Cool. Okay, so big vid room to a specialist ta trainer. Where's the um, elevator? Okay, it's right, right in the center. They really uh, redesigned this whole place. It's funny, the first two games, it's like practically the, the same. Oh, okay, I see. Ah. The Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. That's really Admiral changed. Would like you to investigate. Uh, she's the new person there. I see now. Welcome back, gift. You find it among the casual clothing. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses <laughs> tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. Whoa. It costs 6,000 credits. Damn. Okay. Yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. <laughs> Carry on, Specialist. Hmm. We can try talking with Joker. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Did they at least validate our parking? <laughs> well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Okay, let's go up to uh, his personal quarters. I, I think instead what we'll do is we're just going to explore this place, um, the new area that we're at. And then after we pretty much chat with whoever we can, and I'll probably chill there for tonight and start fresh on the next mission tomorrow. Um, private terminal, squad selection, cycle appearances. Oh. Holy crap. So many different appearances. What? That's sick. Huh. That's pretty sick too. I'm doing that one. 
Whoa. Armor locker. Casual. <laughs> I love how you still have this one. <laughs> That's your basic. Wait, what's the difference between that? I used to run around with this one a lot. This one's pretty cool too. I'm gonna go back with this armor set. Okay, so we have the Cerberus Ajax armor. Interesting. We have our regular armor. No chest piece. Do have new arms. Give us more melee damage, but I don't really need that, in my opinion. Um, does it still... Wish you could zoom in a little. Pattern. Yeah, we'll stick with that red. Int. Perfect. Ten number two. Lights. Ah, this one you can choose the lights. Save and exit. Sound system. We lost the items from the last game. That'd be cool if it if it added like everything together <laughs> for the new game. Uh, let's get to the crew deck. Like I said, we'll go through each one and then we'll go to the next. Not gonna lie, as much as I messed around with the different armors, the different colors, I've always uh, felt the default colors always felt they look the best. Agreed. Same thing with default Shepard. This did they mention? She doesn't. Edie doesn't mention anything about. Wait, was that the men's? Oh, will she mention it for the women's? Ah, oh, you can't go into the women's this time. Mm -hmm. Bane. Model Destiny Ascension. Nice. Assume me. The heck is that? Like a party room. Default male ship over custom for sure fem chef can have some good results yeah definitely fem chef i i've seen a lot of people have uh gone fem chef for their playthrough which is pretty cool that the uh fact that they added it in as a uh, one of the default um for basically one two and three that was pretty cool it's kind of crazy that there wasn't that option back in the day but it also i guess maybe technology i don't know commander everything okay down here doctor the alliance i have cleaned seen up and restocked, some still my old med some bed. good looking custom ones Feels like home. welcome back Thank um you. i just let's couldn't waste no time if i may i'd like to examine you i couldn't do one myself nothing wrong with personally you, is there? i tried but no but we should keep an eye on all those and for hale is such a good voice actress yeah Expensive stuff bringing me back and worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay Guess a checkup never hurts Just no scalpel this time doc. Alas to my great disappointment. It is nothing invasive I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants and it'll take a few readings The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay and your body has accepted the implants quite nicely mm. Get it better sure didn't come cheap that's it. You're the picture of health. 
I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. True. Reassign powers. Oh, look, it's free. Cool. What's that? Oh, that's, um, dang it. <laughs> that's, uh, the thing. Reassign power bonuses. Oh. Cool. So there is one in the med lab. I think of that earlier, which you were right. <gasps> right, the fans on. Just to let you guys know if you hear. But I'm not going to be on for much longer. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead huh. of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Sweet, so that's how we use uh, upgrades. It was less than ideal. At Wait, least how the council can't it? deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. Wow. Becoming the big info brokers turned you into a real cynic, Liara. I like it. I'm flattered, I think. This terminal, terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. That's cool that she actually brought stuff from I'd be a very the Shadow Broker. Shadow Broker Would she not feeds? have that stuff so if she didn't? To your resources? If, if we didn't do that what quest? I wonder. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Or maybe she does it by herself. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Oh, okay, Absolutely. she does it by herself. The that makes sense. Cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Cool. Thank it's, you for uh, the data packet. The results are available on the information network terminal. Cool. That's that floor. Uh, wow, we still have two more. All right, we'll go to these last two floors, see what's up, and then chill. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. 
Your alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Nice. Nobody else is here yet. What? She has her room on our thing? Wait, did we tell her? Uh, uh, what? I guess? Holy pictures. Who's on there? Wait, did we tell her to come on board? How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe yeah, I can pass a on a few non-classified <laughs> progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. It's like, you can really tell that they're like, all right, we're gonna put your face into this game as much as we possibly can. And I mean, they did it, but it almost looks like it's like, uh, okay. Ah, catch the mouse. Go. Wait, did I get it? Or was that a hamster? Space hamster, I got him. <laughs> Another space hamster. Uncanny Valley level. That's where she's at, okay. Can you romance her? <laughs> Honestly, that's what I wanna know. I don't know. I think it, so. The last two games I've had my shepherd uh, not romance anybody just because I was focusing on the actual game for the most part. Um, but in this one, I might actually. And I think uh, I'm going to have. If I do, I'm thinking about. Um, wow. That's cool. They just they upgrades it. Upgrade it. Um. Oh, that's cool. You can buy straight from the. That's so sick. Um, I was thinking about doing, um, what's her name? Um, the reporter. Yeah. I was asking about the, the reporter, but if you can, I am thinking about doing, um, what's their name? can't remember off the top of my head right this second dude there's so many so many things black widow look at all these that's like the malik um oh you can really wait the uh wait really ammo capacity wow that's that's pretty good right there Nah. -uh. Yup. Wow. Jessica Cho Chobot, you can. Of all my playthroughs, how high have I never discovered this? <laughs> Damn, dude, I need money. There's so much. Um. And that's armor customization. I I was thinking about uh, uh, who's the the girl, Lieutenant Steve Cortez, off the top of my head. Um, got news about our supply chains, Commander. The alien chick, not not Liara. 
Nice to meet you, um, Lieutenant. Tally. What's going Tally. on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. Yeah. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Hmm. Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. Oh, it does cost to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. Uh, so you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar wow, with the operation long... and maintenance of the UT-47 <laughs> Kodiak and the M44 Hammer. They used the entire... In my experience, it made sense for me to take over a shuttle pilot. Screen right Raptor, there for that. Especially given Mr. Subtitle. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Cool. Keep up the hard work. Yes, Commander. That's pretty cool, though. Um, you can actually go here and buy everything. Can I pet it? Bad dog. Good what? dog. Bad dog. Good dog. <laughs> All right, Mr. James. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the castle? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palo. You know, he's gotta be really strong to be able <sighs> to do like that many pull-ups. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> or... Um... You down here for a reason? <clears throat> Just came like, down he to has talk. to be insanely strong. Cause he's Great. a big dude. Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well. Jesus. Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <clears throat> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. Yeah, literally. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? I love how they're... So? Maybe you don't care training, if you live or die. But... Or maybe... <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. <clears throat> maybe you are. <laughs> but if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey, thanks for the dance, Loco. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. 
Oh, I won't forget. <laughs> He's a cool character. Available in med bay, fortification unlocked. Cool. So many things to do. <laughs> I don't know. So we have, um, I'm just going to look at these again. So we weapon bench, weapon upgrades. So for these, wait, we got a new one. I'd rather have the Vindicator. Uh, but it weighs a little bit more. I see, I see. Sniper rifle. Submachine gun. Wait, can we modify them? Modify? Reduces weapon weight by 50%. Occup uh, slot occupied. Does it change the look of it? It gives it a little bit of a different look. Can't modify that. I guess we don't have any equipment for that. Still decent. Um, let me just look at this. So you can upgrade them to way less. That's cool. The store. Look at the weapons again. Uh, I really want to get that. The N7 stuff. Oof. <laughs> Eagle, variant, Valiant, Crusader. I'm gonna look into the weapons um, tonight or tomorrow. See like what I what um, looks best or what is best. Go back over to the CIC and boom. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to call it right here. Um, it's been fun already. We finished uh, Mass Effect 2 tonight with the arrival DLC right afterwards. Took a little bit of a break. But then we jumped straight into Mass Effect, and now we are here. I feel like that was a good um, good start for tonight, because we pretty much got through the tutorials. We're on the ship. We explored the entire ship. We spoke to as many people as we could, and now we're ready to start doing missions tomorrow. So, um, tomorrow night, um, I might actually be on around 5.30. I am working from home. So it'll be nice um, around 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna try to hop on. We'll pick up right here, right where we're at right now. Um, we'll go straight to the first mission and start going through this uh, guide that I'm following um, for the playthrough and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really enjoying Mass Effect 3. It's been awesome playing through these games so far. And I can't wait to play more. Um, also, Saturday. So Saturday, I have my haircut about 9 a.m. Um, right after my haircut, I'll probably be done around uh, done or home around like 10, 10, 30 or 10, 15. When I do get home, I'll probably honestly go live right away. And uh, we'll pretty much be playing all day long from like, I'd say 10 to like, five or six um p.m eastern time so that's uh about the time we'll get started um same thing or probably a similar thing on monday which is memorial day um i'll probably be doing around the same thing sunday probably no stream unless if we do something sunday night we'll see though um Saturday I'll miss that hey it's all good I totally get it just wanted to put it out there just for anybody that does want to see like where we pick up and and everything but that's my plan for the next few days um so plenty of time scheduled all that to make as much progress as we can 